customers looking to get an estimate to have uh, their steps replaced. So we have got a uh, step here that's completely falling apart. Um, it is seven feet, six inches wide. The landing is 38 inches and the tread is 12 inches. Um, we're going to give her a bid for Fond du Lac risers and limestone treads, whole treads going across both the top or both fronts here. So um, using the least amount of mortar as we can. Currently, um, <coughs> yeah, currently it's made out of Fond du Lac with the irregular, but I uh, talked to her about uh, shoveling and salt and all that good stuff. So um, and she also wants to have a couple options for it. So the cheapest is obviously going to be a straight, a straight step, just as it is right now. Um, let's give her some options to put some pillars on it. Let's give her some, like on the corners, so one right here and one right here. Um, let's call it uh, eight inches above the, uh, the height. We'll go ahead and give her some, uh, give her an option to put some buttresses on it. Um, uh, let's go eight inch, eight -ish inches above the height is, as well. Um, and then uh, also a curved step. She saw a couple of the curved fronts. So what the cost would be just to have a, a curved step. Um, so both steps would be, have to be pie cut, I told her. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get, and if we can do some sketch-ups of those, um, that way she can see what it is that we're talking about. Um, I told her we will have to redo the foundation, so go ahead and include the uh, footings in that price there. So, all right, so that's the first part. The second part is, I'm just going to grab my measurements here. The second part is uh, this area out here. So, um, she says every house along here has like these little small walls um, along the... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, along their, the front of their areas here and uh, she wants one as well. So she has got this little planter thing over on the side over here. So we are going to, um, we're going to give her two options for this. So the first option is just to be to come in off this corner here and to kind of loop out and come out to the driveway and then back up to the step and then uh, the same thing over here. So we're going to just come out to the sidewalk and then we're going to come up uh, one foot in from the sidewalk here, uh, I'm sorry, from the driveway here. So we don't wanna be right on the driveway. We're gonna have it offset by one foot. Um, we're gonna use the same material that they have. It's it's block of some sort. Um, if we get the job, we'll figure out what it is, but we'll, I mean, it looks, it's straight cut. It's, um, I mean, you can see the caps on it. Yeah, they look like they are six by 16 um, pieces or six by 18. So, um, it doesn't look like it's terribly old, so I would assume that we'd be able to, we'd be able to figure out what it is. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's just going to start over there and come around, and then uh, it'll follow the driveway up and end just where, where the river rock ends. So that's option number one. Option number two is to use Fond du Lac here, and uh, the same footprint, print, however, uh, we would take out this side and uh, and mirror and, and do the uh, natural stone along here. So uh, I've taken the measurements for this as well. Uh, so I told her I didn't. I told her it would be a bad idea uh, to mix and match, just because the white is so stark white compared to this, it would just look it would just look goofy. So um, yeah, I'll get you the. Uh, um, I'll get you the uh, the drawing for this one because there's some. Um, dimensions on here and her email address. She said she didn't know if she gave you the right one So I'll go ahead and get you the drawing for this. Um, this is in St. Louis Park, so um, Keep that in mind when it comes to deliveries um, If this is just if we're just doing this step We could easily haul this out with a dump truck or trailer or whatever. There's not a lot to it so